Fisher. Um, I am a co-op and solidarity economy enthusiast, and I'm also in New York City. Can't say I'm a New Yorker yet for, I think, a few more years, but um, that's where I'm based. Um, and I also help manage the city's worker cooperative business development initiative. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, these days during during the quarantine um i've been staying busy with a few things for for myself more personally i've been um doing i actually have time to do workouts in the morning normally i've got like almost an hour commute but now i get time to, to actually like connect my body so i think that's been a really big help for me um i feel like i'm getting stronger and more flexible so you know that's a, some silver linings for for the the time spent indoors um, but I've also spent a lot of time on Zoom calls. I've been doing some organizing with resource generation, um, so trying to distribute funds and, and move resources and money to the people who need it most right now um, and, and help people fight the urge to hoard because um, I think that's something that's going to be a big deal in the coming months. Um, and then I've also been organizing with my local mutual aid network. Um, so that, that's taking some time, but it's also been something that's like really helpful for me in this time and making me feel connected. Um, what else? Something that's inspiring to me um, as it relates to cooperation and the solidarity economy during these times. Um, I think there are lots of ways that co-ops are practicing principle six right now and looking out for each other. Um, but when I was thinking about this, I wanted to mention one like small thing that uh, where I felt cared for by a co-op. Um, and that's by Tessa Collective, which is a cooperative that sells their games. Um, and right now they're selling all their games half off in solidarity to try to help people connect and, and stay present while they're at home, stuck at home. And, and I got to buy a game, um, Space Cats Fight Fascism, figure out how to make that work over Zoom. So <laughs> we're playing that now digitally with someone who's quarantined in a different apartment. Um, and I just thought that was significant because there are a lot of people who are price gouging right now for the things that are most useful in this epidemic. And, and um, yeah, I think it's just beautiful that a lot of cooperatives are, are lowering their prices in the midst of all of this to, to act in solidarity with, with both customers and other cooperatives. Um, and then also one fruitful change as it relates to cooperation and the solidarity economy that I think might arise as a result of this pandemic. Um, so I, this is an interesting question because I really don't know what's going to happen. So I'm not sure about might, but there is a dream um, that might come out of this pandemic. Um, and I feel like it. there's a possibility of a future that um, I've never seen before. So that dream is that uh, this pandemic will create a wave of co-op conversions. So there are so many business owners who are close to retiring and taking on debt from loans or, or debt because of their um, rent doesn't make any sense to do right now. And they're like, okay, I might as well throw the towel in and close my business sooner than later. Um, and I think if we can reach those business owners and let them know that there is another option, um, those workers could help, could buy the business and they could convert to a worker owned cooperative. Um, that's like, such a huge beacon of hope for what's going to come out of this. Um, and it could really transform our economy in a way that we've like, you know, been organizing and fighting to do for a long time. So that, that is like, you know, I think the most, the most beautiful outcome that we could have from this. Um, but I do think it will require a lot of strategy and, and, um, and organizing and knowing where, who our enemies are, which is unfortunately private equity and real estate, but that's something to keep in mind. And I think that um, there's a lot of smart and passionate people working on the side of cooperators. So yeah, I'm looking forward to their leadership. <laughs>